What's up, YouTube? Good morning from Conroe, Texas. It's about 70 degrees out this morning. Figured I'd uh, do a little random vlog. First off, I wanted to talk about why I named my channel Do It All Garage. I hope that doesn't sound cocky or anything like that because that wasn't my intention. Uh, basically, my buddy at work was helping me get my YouTube channel set up. Again, I'm not a big tech guy, you know, if you haven't figured that out yet. But he was helping me get it set up, and he was he's one of them guys that likes to do everything right now, right now, or yesterday, you know. So he was kind of rushing me to pick out a name, and I was like, well, I don't want to name it Welding Garage or Three Wheeler Garage or, you know, whatever, because I don't just do one thing. I do a lot of different stuff. So do all garage is what I came up with, and that's what I stuck with, so... I hope it doesn't sound cocky or anything. Mm. It's good coffee. Uh, so anyway, that's why I named it Do It All Garage. And um, again, hope it doesn't sound cocky. I'm not cocky. I don't try to be anyway. And uh, I don't have any formal training on anything. I didn't go to welding school. I didn't go to, uh, you know, MMI or any kind of mechanic school or anything like that. The only training I've had, I took one high school welding class when I was in like the ninth or 10th grade and that is it, okay? And I went to high school in the 90s. For you youngsters out there, that was a long time ago. But anyway, that's about it. Um, you know, some of the videos, uh, that I have to come are I'm going to be comparing my um, my dry cut saw that I cut my steel with. It's a carbide tip. It's Ironton brand. I got it at Northern Tool. I'm going to be comparing that side by side to my DeWalt saw over there. It's an abrasive wheel, like a big grinding disc, basically. I'll be showing you the differences between those and I, uh, you know, how they cut differently and things like that. I'm going to be doing a video about my my air compressor. Um, I'm going to fix my platform that I made for my Harbor Freight motorcycle lift. It works fine. It's, this thing's covered with junk right now. My garage is kind of a mess right now. But that platform works fine, but it can be better. It can be stronger. And that's how it's going to be as soon as I get time to do it. And I will be doing that. So, I uh, also, you know, I work on three wheelers, four wheelers, little dirt bikes. I uh, do tool reviews. I do toolbox reviews for that matter. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on this little guy right here. This is a pipe that my buddy gave me. He works in the oil field and he wants me to build him a little uh, kind of like a uh, tailgate grill for when he's out working. He can. Uh, you know, have a little grill at the hotels and stuff, make some burgers or whatever he wants to make on it. So, you know, I just do all kinds of different stuff. And again, you know, I'm not a professional at all. I've had no formal training again. And uh, there's several reasons why I started my YouTube channel. Number one is that I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on how to repair things or how to do things, whatever, and it's helped me out a lot and I kind of wanted to pay it forward. Another reason is it's fun. I like doing it, you know, and uh, it's it's a good feeling when, uh, you know, I, I did a, a repair on my water heater. It's a pretty simple repair, I think, but I didn't even think anyone would watch it. And I've gotten like 8,000 views on that thing, and I've had people comment on it and say, man, thank you so much. Even though the camera was shaking the whole time, I didn't have a tripod or a microphone or anything at the time, and uh, that's the video I've gotten the most views on, so it's kind of weird, but I wasn't expecting it, but you know, I, that, was, uh, that was really cool that I could help some people out because, again, I've been helped out before by watching YouTube videos. And uh, another reason is, uh, you know, hopefully I can encourage someone or maybe even inspire one or two of you to uh, get into something. If you've never welded before, I, I know a lot of guys that 
they like to work with their hands and stuff like that and they've done maybe a little bit of everything but they've never touched a welder no one's ever shown them how to do it they've never gone to school for it they're in a position in their life where they don't have money and time to go to school for it go freaking buy one and start using it is what i tell them you know that's how you learn if you can't go to school you know um not everyone no one in my family or friends or anything I don't know anyone that owns five welding machines and a plasma cutter. You know, I, I literally don't know anyone personally that does. I do because I was interested in it and I wanted to learn about it and learn how to use them. So I bought them, you know, I made some sacrifices. You know, I, I don't drive a $60,000 truck. I don't live in a mansion. I don't have a pool in my backyard. Um, you know, so you got to make sacrifices to get this kind of stuff because it's not cheap, you know, even though a lot of my equipment is, you know, kind of what I guess you would consider entry level for the kind of stuff that I do with it. Um, it's still not cheap. It's, uh, you know, my air compressor alone was like 600 bucks and that's without having the 220 plug installed in my wall. I had to pay another $500 for that. So, and that's just one small piece of equipment there. I've got my blast cabinet over there. I'd never used a blast cabinet in my life, but I wanted to learn how to use one. So I got one, I set it up, I uh, watched a bunch of YouTube videos and I uh, did a bunch of research on it and I got one and I set it up and I started using it and it's awesome. I love having it. So, and you can also make money with some of this stuff, but you have to put in the time and effort, you know? So, and, you know, let's say you wanted to learn how to weld. You can go get a little MIG welder starting at about 300 bucks. You know, one that'll work well enough to do pretty much anything you want with it. And uh, go buy your welding hood and some equipment and uh, start welding. Just do something. Instead of going home every night after work and watching TV for four hours until you pass out or going to the bar and spending $50 every night, Stay home, save that money, do research, and get yourself some equipment. I, I don't think you'll be disappointed that you did, because I wasn't, you know. So, if you're looking to get into something, or let, let's say you're looking to get into motorcycles, you, you like them, you think they're cool, you don't know how to ride them, don't know anything about them, go freaking buy one. Go buy the best one that you can afford, okay? And just start turning wrenches. Back in uh, 2008, when I started buying, buying and selling motorcycles on a regular basis, I stress regular basis because I've been doing this since I was a kid, but I didn't know how to work on bikes until about 08 or 09 when I started buying them and selling them. I, I didn't even know how to clean a carburetor. Okay, I didn't know how a carburetor worked. I didn't know anything. I, you know, the first few bikes that I got that needed carb jobs I would pay a mechanic to do it for me because I didn't know how to do it. But I finally just said, you know what, I'm going to learn how to do this myself. And if I mess the carburetor up, so be it. But I'm determined I'm going to do it. And I did. And again, I'm not a master at carburetors or anything like that. But I know my way around them. I've cleaned hundreds of them. And uh, you'd be surprised what you can do if you just kind of get up off your butt, so to speak, and, and do it, you know, and start learning about it, do some research. So, uh, again, I'm not a professional. This is not professional garage. This is not, I know everything and I'm awesome garage. This is, uh, I get out here and I try to film as much stuff as I can when I'm doing it garage so that you can see it and you can do it too. If I can do this, you can, um, you know, you just have to do it plain and simple. So anyway, I do have a lot more videos to come. The ones that I mentioned a minute ago are just a few, but uh, I got a lot more to come. So I want to thank you guys for watching, whoever is watching. And uh, if you'd be so kind, go ahead and like and subscribe. And again, thanks for watching. Good morning from Conroe, Texas.